Winners and losers on Wall Street with our financial expert Rob Black and big numbers coming out from Apple on this new iPhone 6 that hasn't even come out yet. Yeah, the pre-order numbers are twice wow. what the 5 were. So the iPhone 6 and the 6 Plus, very strong demand. First 24 hours, they basically are sold out, except for you can go to the stores on Friday and camp out with all the other iNerds because you I want something very badly. <laughs> uh, the iPhone 6 is the biggest story in tech right now. The bigger screen is going to create the, quote, mother of all upgrades. So says CEO Tim Cook. So the iPhone 5 did 2 million pre-orders. The iPhone 6, 4 million pre-orders. All right, we'll be watching uh, when that phone comes out in the big lines this Friday. A big deal this morning uh, with Microsoft. If you have a kid, you probably know Minecraft. Yeah. And uh, it's a big deal, a big purchase price for Microsoft. Yeah, it's a small company, Mojang, 40 employees. Um, what's interesting to note about this is Minecraft has pulled in about $100 million in profits, some of it on the Xbox, some of it on uh, phones. And that's where Satya Nadella from CEO of Microsoft really got into this. He wants the phones. He wants something that he could put on a phone that somebody wants, <laughs> because the Microsoft phones nobody wants compared to the Apple phones that I want. Uh, um, so it was introduced in 2009, 50 million copies have been sold on PC, smartphones, and the Xbox, things along those lines. Um, they've got a licensing deal for children's books, video, uh, the veteran video game makers love it. You do some Lego-like digital blocks in the game. Um, it's very much about coding, and, and if you have a kid, I strongly suggest this because it'll help do math and science skills. So Microsoft did a good one here. Two and a half million dollars is pricey, but they've got the overseas cash that they don't want to repatriate here. It makes sense what they did. Yeah, we hear some people are even using Minecraft in school right now to help with their learning. Pretty impressive. Yep. All right, let's talk about Alibaba. You know, we've seen the Nasdaq down a bit, and I noticed this from selling from a lot of tech companies. Everyone kind of worried about this big Alibaba IPO. Yeah, it, when a company bring, comes IPO, that means it's the initial public offering. This isn't going to be one of the biggest companies in the world, one of the biggest tech companies in the world. You don't know the name yet, but CEO Jack Ma, you will, just like Jeff Bezos and other uh, Tim Cook's high-profile celebrity uh, CEOs. eBay, watch out. Amazon, watch out. Everyone else, watch out, because Jack Ma and Alibaba seem to have this concept that they want to conquer retail pretty aggressively. Um, the IPO is going to be sick. It's going to be oversubscribed. People are going to want it. Um, it'll be one of those really volatile issues, a lot like Facebook was. Maybe it creates a buy-in opportunity after 10, 15, 20, 30 days. Um, long story short, it's going to be a hot, sexy IPO coming up. And uh, what's it going to do for Yahoo? They're going to make a big, a big amount of money off this, and uh, a lot hinges on what they do with it, doesn't it? Yeah, the only thing Yahoo's done well in the last few years is, <laughs> is hire a CEO who was good at marketing and own a piece of this company. Nothing else is sticky at Yahoo. So I'm concerned they're going to get a big chunk of change from the Alibaba IPO, but then how do they allocate it? Because so far, not a lot of stickiness. All right, thank you, Robin. If you have a question for Rob, post on his Facebook fan page, and we'll answer it here on Crown 4. We'll be right back.